If you like big, fast muscle cars, don't touch that dial. Sometimes we bend the rules a bit here at Muscle Car of the Week. For example, Corvettes are not muscle cars, but there's so many cool ones in the Brothers collection that we share them on this show anyway. We've also featured some plus-size muscular machines, and this is definitely one of those. Chevrolet's new 396 cubic inch big block engine debuted for 1965, but finding an L78 version that made 425 horsepower is a pretty rare sight, especially in a big Impala like this, where the top goes down and the gears are stirred by hand. The 1965 Chevrolet Impala was an extremely popular car, with over one million sold in all its various flavors of engines, doors, and even wagons. Supersport models went home with over 240,000 65 Impala buyers, and that includes 3,600 six-cylinder SS cars. But this car, a convertible SS built with its original 425 horsepower engine, code L78-396, and a four-speed transmission, is a rare ride indeed. about 1,800 396 cubic inch V8s installed in 1965 Chevrolet B-body models, but that includes all of them, the Impala, Biscayne, two-door, four-door wagon, the whole deal. It's not known how many were L78 425 horsepower versions, but you can bet not many were put in four-speed drop tops like this big sled. Our research suggests that there may be only five of these left in captivity today. The L78 425 horse V8 was a special engine indeed. It was a mid-year introduction in the Corvettes, and it was the only 396 to feature four bolt main bearing caps, specially treated rods with high strength bolts, and oiling improvements throughout. The heads featured oversized angled valves and they called them porcupine heads because of all the stuff sticking up in all directions when the valve covers were removed. The holly carb sat perched on an aluminum high-rise intake bridging the cam valley and only mildly suppressing the telltale ticking of the solid lifters. 11 to 1 compression pounded the air fuel mixture hard ringing 425 horsepower and nearly the same amount of torque from the L78 power plant. All that twist had no problem spinning the close ratio four speed and dealer installed 411 gears in the posi rear end. This one was sold new on May 19, 1965 at Gary Chevrolet in Tannersville, Pennsylvania. And the day of the sale was a special occasion, so much so that the dealer took time to photograph the new owner and the sales team, and the owner got a photo with the kids. Dad looks a little concerned here. Maybe he didn't want to tell the wife about the new family car. We love the look on Junior's face. Do you think he knows what his dad just brought home? Apparently they really liked the car and drove it 84,000 miles and kept it in the family until 2004. True to form, this Impala is well equipped with power steering and brakes, a comfort tilt steering column, power top, AM radio, two-speed windshield wipers, and all the plush red bucket seat and console goodness you could carry in a 65 Supersport. The four-way gauge shows the vitals, and the 7,000 RPM tack sits to the right of center field. The SS badge leads the charge down on the stylish four-speed console, and the clock features 24-hour designations. And did I mention that it works, too? All the goodies added up, but still seem cheap today. $376 for the L78, $236 for the four-speed, $43 bucks for the Posit Traction rear end. The total bill came to $4,471, quite a bit over the average car price of $2,650 in 1965. But this was anything but an average car. This ermine white Supersport is a boatload of tire smoke just waiting to happen.
Although Sport is this car's last name, the ride is still cushy and it handles like the road giant it is. Of course, it perfectly meets the expectation for a car like this, as buyers wouldn't shell out big green for a tight, bumpy sedan like today's performance luxury cars deliver. Back in 65, it was all about the smooth moves, and the L78 certainly makes this supersize move. Well, that was fun. You could probably take all the 1965, 396, 425, four-speed convertible Impalas ever built and park them in your favorite burger joint and still have spots left over because this is a rare car. And that's where we come in, delivering these rare and fun muscle cars to you on Muscle Car of the Week. So make sure you subscribe so you never miss a car. You don't want to miss one, come on. Hit the subscribe button on the YouTube channel and join our Facebook page for all the updates from Muscle Car of the Week.